Assalamualaikum and hi to our beloved Dr. Nizam Nidwan. My name is Nur Aymuni binti Abdul Rashid. And Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurul Izzam binti Abdul Nani. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Shahidah binti Aziz. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nurul Shabika binti Hussein. I will start with a background of company. Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad that was established in 1996 and Malaysia-based investment holding company. Astro is a subscription-based direct broadcast satellite service in Bukit Jalil, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Astro was owned by Misat Broadcast Network System. Also, also provides HD, PBR, VOD and IPTV services through Astro Beyond and Astro On The Go. Astro has its own subsidiary which consists of the first one is Nisad Broadcast Network System Sundaram Brahad. All Asian satellite television and radio operators twin business as Astro and also known as a Malaysia satellite television provider. It operates in Malaysia and Brunei. The second one is Crystal Astro or DST. Crystal Astro is a sole operator of Brunei multi-channel pay television services. The company is a joint venture between Crystal Syndrome Brahat and Malaysia Astro Television Network Syndrome Brahat, subsidiary of Astro Malaysia Holdings Brahat. The third one is Fetch TV. Fetch TV is an Australian IPTV provider that delivers a subscription a t television service over a user's regular internet services. The fourth one is Astro Shaw. Astro Shaw Singramberhat is a Malaysian film studio. They produce film for the local and regional market and are pursuing expansion into international film investment. Furthermore, Astro Shaw production is Hantu Kalima that shattered the record of Malaysia's box office being the first local film to achieve box office collection over 30 million ringgit. The last one is Astro Radio. Astro Radio Sinumber Hat that was formerly known as A Time Management and Programming Sinumber Hat or AMP Radio Networks as a Malaysian radio network that was owned by Astro Malaysia's Holding Berhad. Astro dropped the tagline FM for the rebranding of all its 11 stations to focus on the digital platforms which in line with the current technology development. And the first one is, uh, I will explain about factor having a segment reporting. The first factor is a nature of product or services. As we know, Astro uh, nature in, is in its services uh, to the customer and users. Why do I say so? This is because they serve the television and radio services to the customer that basically have the same nature in services. The second factor is a nature in uh, production process. Astro is worth producing a picture with a thousand words. The third one is a type of class of customer. Astro have all types of packages for all ages of customers such as value pack, starter pack, super pack, light movies and many more. The price also affordable on which user can watch is watch with their family and friends. Uh, the fourth one is method to distribute product and services. Astro already provides the way to subscribe. Uh, and there are several ways to purchase uh, to purchase channel pack on Android prepaid either on online through website or as second one is I will explain about the type of segment. First one is television. Television is a streaming services that expand Astro's customer content choices and provide opportunity for bundling with existing content services for customer conveniences. At the present, the three streaming services available comprise of Astro Go, HB Go and Iki. 
The second one is a radio. They are leveraging record listenership. Extra radio audiences span uh, beyond terrestrial radio to encompass a digital platform and non uh, and on the ground event. At this time, the radio services available consist of Era, Hits, um, Raga, My, and Teshagaga. The third one is home shopping. Home shopping is a Malaysia leading home shopping, home shopping platform such as Go Shop of which drove greater engagement and relevance to the customer through lifestyle concentric programs. Uh, electronic cash on deliveries, ECOD payment option, one is other growing digital brands such as Kampa, Awani and Shaw are catering to target segment with different interests including entertainment, news and Islamic lifestyle. It is a joint venture uh, with a group Majalah Karam Craft Digital brands such as Rasa, Wanita and Nona. The last one is I will explain about the CODM. The Chief of Decision Making CODM is a role and not necessarily an individual. Eventually, it could be a person such as a chief executive officer, CEO, or a group of persons such as a group of executives. The chief of decision making of ESRO is Henry Tan Po, who is the chief executive officer uh, of the company. The responsibilities that he holds is a uh, first one is aggressively driving customer experience initiatives aim at improving overall customer satisfaction. It includes enhancing the services levels to ensure digital relevance. The second one is to ensure delivering the uninterrupted services to the community. This is because of the safeguarding the health and safety of the employee, especially during the movement order control, MCO. The last one is a broadening reach to individuals. Uh, they aspire to broaden our reach uh, in the individual space to mirror the household access and develop deeper relationship with the customer. That's all from me. Thank you. Irreportable segments and non-irreportable segments. For management, purpose of Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad, the group is organized the business units based on their service and has Four key repeatable segments. Repeatable segments we have television. Television service available comprise Astro Go, HBO Go, and IKE. For radio, radio service available comprise Era, Hits, My, and Raga. Three, home shopping. Home shopping service comprise Go Shop and electric, electronic cash on delivery, ECOD payment. And lastly, no reputable segment, just others. Next, to identify the reputable segment and no reputable segment, we have four key issues. CODM of Astro is Henry Tanpo, who is CEO of the company. Two, identify business activities. Three, Astro Malaysia have financial information in Bursa Malaysia. Henry Tanpo, who is the CEO of the company, always reviews information to develop deeper relationships with their customers. Operating segments are reputable segments uh, if they exceed the quantitative thresholds, television, radio, home shopping, and others. In 10% profit test, we have calculated all and the conclusion television and radio is reputable uh, and home shopping and others are non reportable. 31% threshold test, we get 92.34% exceeds 75%. The combined external revenue for television and radio comprise 92.34%. Therefore, it fulfills the 75% rule of total external revenue. Repetible segments are television and radio. Meanwhile, home shopping and others are not repetible segments. And lastly, we have new segmental reporting for the Astro. In conclusion, we have advantages and disadvantages.
The basis preparation for unaudited quarterly report has been prepared by ASTRO in accordance with the reporting requirements as set out in MFRS 134 Interim Financial Reporting. It is because Bursa Malaysia requires all entities whose debt or equity securities are publicly traded to publish interim financial reports. The objective of this standard is to prescribe the minimum content of interim financial report and to prescribe the principle for recognition and measurement in complete or condensed financial statement for an interim period. Timely and reliable interim financial reporting improves the ability to investor, creditors, and others to understand an entity's capacity to generate earnings and cash flows and its financial condition and its liquidity. For ASTRO, basic preparation for interim report is the integral method MFRS leases has been used by ASTRO as an accounting policy in preparing interim reporting. Under MFRS 16, a lease is defined as a contract or part of a contract that conveys the right to use as an identifiable asset over a period of time in exchange for consideration. MFRS 16 eliminates the classification of lease by the leases as either final lease or operating lease. MFRS 16 requires the leasee to recognize a right of use of underlying asset and lease liability reflecting future lease payment for most leases. The right to use is basically interpreted as the leases' right to economic benefits derived from and the ability to control the use of an asset throughout its lease term. The lease term is the non cancelable period for lease including the timeline involved or involved to extend or terminate the lease term. The table here shows the impact of adapting MFRS 16 at 1 February 2019. The right of use asset is depreciated in accordance with the principle MFRS 11C in property, plan and equipment and the lease liability is accrued over time with interest expense recognized in the income statement. MFRS 116 property, plan and equipment covers all tangible non-current asset, asset, asset held for sale, completed investment property, leases, biological asset, exploration and evaluation asset, and mineral rights and rivers. MFRS 116 define property, plan and equipment as asset that are held by an entity for use in the production of goods and services and for rental to others or for administrative or maintenance purpose and, the, uh, and are expected to be used during more than one reporting period. Referring to ASTRO, there are adapting an interim report quarterly where interim financial report is a financial report containing a set of condensed financial statements. As ASTRO set a condensed financial statement, ASTRO have included a condensed statement of financial position, a condensed separate statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income, a condensed statement of cash flows, and a condensed statement of changes in equity. This set of condensed financial statement also include at minimum selected explanatory notes as required by the standard, and basic and deleted earnings per share on the face of the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. The board directors of Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad present the following unaudited condensed consolidated financial statements for the third quarter added 31st October 2019 which should be read in conjunction with the audited financial statement for the financial year added 31st January 2019 and the accompanying, accompanying explanatory notes attached to the unaudited condensed consolidated financial statements. Additional line items or notes should be included if there are significant in the overall context 
contacts of the entity. If not included, the conduct interim financial reporting would be misleading. Now, we'll see the period for the current and comparative of each statement prepared by the company. Firstly, is statement of financial position or balance sheet. For the current interim period, as at 31st October 2019, it is comparable with the uh, the date, the end of the immediately preceding year, as at 31st of 31st January 2019. Look at the example of current assets, inventories. Before 31st January 2019, it is amounted as 16.3 million. However, as the current period, as at 31st October 2019, it is amounted as 14.7 million decrease by 1.6 million. Secondly is statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income uh, for the current interim period and cumulatively for the current financial year to date with comparative for the comparable interim, interim periods between current and the year to date. There are four columns in the interim statement between quarter ended and period ended. <coughs> For quarter ended, it is between 31st October 2019 and 31st October 2018. Look at the total comprehensive income for the financial period. Before, on 31st October 2018, it is stated that the amount on 164.9 million. Compared to the 2019, it is stated that 179.1 million. It is increased by 14.2 million ringgit. For the next table is period ended between 31st October 2019 and 31st October 2018. Let's see the revenue. It's a big amount, right? It stated that the amount on 4,111.2 million compared to 31st October 2019 is stated at 3,686.2 million. You can see that it is decreased by 425 million ringgit. Next is statement of changes in equity. Statement of changes in equity accumulatively for the current financial year to date with a comparative statement of changes in equity for the comparable year to date of immediately preceding financial year. Interim statement stated that the period between uh, 31st October 2019 and 31st October 2018. <coughs> okay, let's see the exchange reserve. On 2018, it is stated by 0 0.9 million. However, on 31st October 2019, it is stated by 0 0.4 million. Therefore, there is a decreased amount by 0 0.5 million ringgit. And the last one is statement of cash flows. There are two adjustments made by the company, Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad. From the gross amount of account receivables stated 578.5 million, it is multiplied by the collection rate 75% and you will get the net amount to be reported as 433.875 million ringgit. As for the period in the 1st January 2020, you will use this gross, the same gross amount as 578.5 million and you will calculate it by multiply with the collection rate at T percent and you will get the net amount to be reported as 462.8 million. Net is the preparation for the interim financial reporting. Statement of comprehensive income. It is calculated by the motor vehicle cost 500,000 multiplied by the 3 per 60 months. It is expected to be used for 5 years. You must remember it, okay? For the both uh, period ended on 31st October 2019 and 31st October 2020, the recognize, recognized depreciation is 25,000 ringgit. For the statement of financial position, the stated of NBV 
for the 31st October 2019 is 475,000 ringgit Malaysia. And for the 31st October 2020 is 450,000 ringgit. For the non-current asset, property, plant and equipment. Before, it stated the amount of 741.0 million and after is 741.475 million ringgit. And for the current assets also, accounts receivables, it is stated uh, before is 578.5 million ringgit and the after is 433.875 ringgit Malaysia. Do you know how you we get the the amount? The amount is the net amount to be reported from the previous 